Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, the hardest prestige to play with, <laughs> the new 2023 Pro. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Chase. Chase is part of my coffee club and has hooked me up with one coffee per month. So thank you so much, Chase. If you want to be part of my coffee club or hook me up with a hot cup of joe, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys for your continued support. Okay, so hardest prestige to play with. I probably argue that this might be the hardest racket to play with in the in the tennis racket market right now. So, but why is it so hard to play with this particular racket, this particular prestige? Well, first of all, it's got a very, very low RA rating, which means it's very, very flexible. It's a 58. So those of you who your doctors told to get a very very flexible racket this is what they're talking about it's thin and flexible the beam on this is 20 constant beam 20 so thin thin 18 by 20 on this string pattern okay so it's a dense string pattern with a thin beam flexible and it's heavy it's 11.9 which is 337 grams so it's close to 12 ounces strung guys you throw that over grip on there it's going to be over 12 ounces 98 on the head size at least they help you a little bit there um, swing weight is 324 so there is going to be some plow uh, yeah <laughs> all right so i'm going to string this racket at 52 and hopefully it generates a little bit of power all right with some poly okay see you on the court guys All right, so we just got off the court with the hardest prestige, which is now the Pro, Prestige Pro 1820, 98 square inch head. Yep. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And did I say 1820? Yes, you said 1820. Most flexible of all? Yep. yep. Okay, I just want to explain, so go, have fun. go ahead, talk about it. All right. This one was definitely the hardest to hit with, I got to agree. Um, you really have to make sure you time it right and get the technique going for this. Uh, the 1820 string pattern, I feel like, felt a bit more on the denser side. This one, you definitely, out of all the other prestige line, have to generate your own power with this. I was surprised, though, there is a bit more feel um, with the 1820 than compared to other 1820s. Um, did you say that it was also a bit more on the flexible side too? Yeah. Yeah. This one felt a little bit more malleable and flexible as I was trying to swing through it. It really kind of went. Um, and, and yeah, it's thinner. It's thinner too. It's a thinner beam. Thanks, Ching. Um, other than that, yeah, this would be a. For me, I would probably prefer the tour, but for those who are looking for the other uh, the 1820 string pattern rackets, you might want to give it a go for this, but it's a little bit. Uh, hard to play with at the like right off the bat, so you're gonna have to get used to it. Yeah. You know why it's dense? Why is it dense? Because it's an 1820. It's an 1820. <laughs> Captain obvious here. Duh. All right, Coach Goo. Thank you. Uh, that's that's hairy for you, unfortunately. But moving on. Um, yeah, the pro. It is gonna sound weird, but it's like the old prestige. Because of the sweet, uh, the smallest sweet spot, 
but it does have more feel um especially with this technology they added so even hitting a bit off the sweet spot you still get away with the feel and the flexibility behind it so there is more playability with this especially with the 1820 but it is very very dense and pretty much it's it takes a while to get used to it almost feels like you're trying to swing this racket around and you're trying to plow it as like rip it as hard as you can but it doesn't really give you that leniency for spin um but if you're 1820 user and you still love that feel, I mean, this is the racket for you. I mean, this this baby really enhances all the feel. It really gets you just g going pretty much. And yeah, I mean, if you're a previous owner of a Prestige 18 by 20, you definitely should check this out. So I noticed all both of you, including myself, um, trying to swing hard as you can and ball staying in. So that's the one characteristic of this prestige that you are going to get. The 1820 pattern is going to make you swing through the ball more. Um, it rewards you for swinging through the ball. Well, yeah, you got to step into the ball. Yeah. And if, if you don't swing through, it's going to fall short. Yeah. So if, if you're a flat hitter, I feel like this benefits your stroke by helping you keep it in. If you're a spin hitter, Probably gonna I, I would you recommend it. Yeah, I would re recommend the tour at that point. Right. If you're, if, if you're like, especially if yeah, if you want more playability and versatility, the tour is the one that people should look for. But if you don't want, you want to be, you know, play tennis extremely hard mode, um, you can definitely use this racket. <laughs> exactly, I recommend this for two people: people who only swing for the fence and only swing for the fence and always swing for the fence. Yep. Or a pro level player that's like a five zero and up who has, I mean, who perfect has swings, perfect, perfect swings, strong. or just loves an eighteen twenty. Right, right. But There's who a, can handle it too? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to handle it in this current game, pretty much. Right, handle it for two hours. Yeah, can you handle it for two hours? But it didn't feel as heavy. That's why I felt like out of all the other ones, like you said, the tour was the heaviest one. Mm -hmm. I felt like that one was a bit more than. But you one. had to work a lot but, harder. But I think it's because it's 1820. 18, so like the dense string pattern is really what and makes it's you thinner. It is thinner, so that's yeah. why. I, I mean, for me, it cuts through the air a bit easier um, because it's just thinner. But the playability and the versatility wasn't really there for this one. Yeah, I think the tour has more of that playability because of that 1619. That makes a difference. Yeah, your strokes have to be pretty spot on to yeah. hit with something like this. I have to say, definitely. And you got to learn how to weight transfer it. Definitely. So if you're one of those type of players, check out the new Prestige Pro uh, with the Ozetic 2, just like Goo. I'm going to rhyme my, rhyme my head off here. He's not Coach a rapper. Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at Tennis. <laughs> also be posting content there as well. Ching-a-ding-ding. -ding. Where you at? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis. And that's it. it. All right. Guys, if you swing for the fence all the time, or if you're that good, Prestige Pro is your flow all right thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis coach rob is a little cold i'm freezing harry keep moving your feet <laughs> and it's dark Ooh, i can't then, barely see then you better not miss harry because then you're going to get colder <laughs> here we go Ooh. Oh, gosh. All right. Do you want that, pro? That will make you play in the dark, make you play in the freezing cold, not let you give up on your tennis. Well, I got my coach, Rob. You can get your coach, Rob, at Play Your Court. You can find over 27,000 players out there, coaches and playing partners all at playercourt.com.